Good morning. This, today's date is Wednesday, October 4th, 2017. My name is Carrick Williams, Carrick Williams Photography, LLC. We are located at 811 Hickory Glen Drive, Sefner, Florida, 33584. And we are a certified MBE, DBE, and SBE firm. Our client today is Creative Contractors Incorporated. Their office is located at 620 Drew Street, Clearwater, Florida, 33755. Mr. Steve Hill is a project manager for this job, and Mr. Kenneth Jenkins is the superintendent. And he is the contact person for uh, creative contractors on this project. Today's assignment is at Sickles High School, 7950 Gun Highway, Tampa, Florida, 33626. Today's assignment is to provide a pre-construction time-stamped uh, color audio-visual documentation of the pre-existing conditions of this location. Uh, the job is Sickles High School Classroom Building Addition, GMP. Now this is going to include the construction site property in and around the facility where the uh, vehicles will be parked, the staging area, and the buildings adjacent to the uh, project to show any pre-existing damage if there is any. That's it. Let's go. Okay, we're getting ready to start this uh, pre-construction video. The time is 9.37 a.m. We're here located right now on the corner of Gun Highway, where Gun Highway turns in to Sickles High. On the corner of Gun Highway, Sickles High, and Shops Citrus Park. Um, I'm going to start here at the construction entrance of um, the school. We're going to, we're going to, when right now I'm facing east. I'm going to turn around and go down west through the entrance. That's is the construction entrance and the entrance that the students are going to, students and faculty use also, and the buses. We're going to uh, record the pre-existing conditions of that um, of that route back to the uh, construction trailer, and then from there we'll uh, record the actual school building itself. Okay, we're gonna start now heading down Sickles High, this road entrance into the school. We're at the entrance again, and we're gonna start off, <clears throat> again, we're, we're walking, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be walking to the, um, to the west. Over here on the south side of the road, there's three bullets, and all there's some water valves here. I want you to zoom in a little closer and get a little closer, please. And um, I'm looking at these valves and all these valves are uh, in good shape. There's no damage at all here in any of these valves. Down below me here, there is some construction uh, debris that's already here. Other than that, um, the area looks good. As we're gonna start heading west, I'm looking at the south gate. That south gate's in good shape. In front of me here is the middle gate. There's two gates on that, entrance gate. Uh, the south gate looks good. Come out that way, please. You'll notice the, uh, the gate over here on the uh, south side of the entrance. Looks in good shape. Across the way here, we'll see the north gate. And it too is in good condition. There's no damage. There's some paint chips, but there's no damage. We're gonna get a wide angle view of the entire area going toward the west. Before I go in though, however, I'm gonna stop right here and look down where this uh, pork chop is and see there's some damage that's been, that's been um, repaired here right at the tip of the, uh, the pork chop. As we start heading west, I'm gonna start to my right first, which is north. Look at the, um, the curbing, look at the fencing, all that's in good condition. I see a sign on the fence that's hanging down, pre-existing. I'm looking to my left now, which is south, and uh, I see the curbing. I see no apparent damage to um, anything. 
I see a clothing and shoes box. I guess it's a drop off for Goodwill or donation box. It's rusted, but it's in good condition. Also to my left, make sure you're bright enough here. There's a, uh, a drain that's got debris in front of it, but it's in good condition. I'm going back to my right now, which is north on the curbing. As the curbing comes from an angle and starts going straight down the road, I'm gonna notice some chips in that curbing. Now again, this is on my right, which is the north side of the walkway of the driveway. As I'm going now, I'm noticing a, a kind of a wide shot. You can see again where the curbing comes in and we're, gonna, we're right here at the very first speed hump. And um, it just shows some wear, it's in good condition. To my right, just past the speed hump, there are some chips in the curbing. To my left, right as the left side, make sure you're light enough here and zoom in closely, where the curbing comes from an angle and starts going straight, there's some damage here and here. I'm gonna go back to my right again, which is north, directly across from that. We'll notice that, again, the curbing has some damage. I wanna get another wide shot of the entire area. We're gonna start from our right, looking at the fence. coming straight past me, and then looking to our left, which is south, at the fence around the perimeter fence of the school. There are some advertising signs there, and um, the fence itself is in good condition. As we proceed here, I'm gonna stop and look to my right, which is north. Again, we're, we're, we're traveling west. First down at the curbing, there's some minor cracks here. I want to note that <clears throat> the fence, and again, the construction crews will probably never go up that way, but just for prosperity's sake, we're going to show this. The fence now has some wooden fence on the other side of it. And um, where it joins, there's a space missing. There's some minor damage and some of the wood is, is starting to come apart. But again, just getting a wide overview shot of that to see um, what's there. We're still traveling west. I'm gonna look over here to my left again, right in front of the brief old Brady sign uh, at the curbing. There's a minor damage, a broken piece right here. And we're gonna continue going west. Okay, we're gonna resume now. We're still heading west and we're coming to our Second speed hump. We'll look both from left to right or from south to north. And it looks okay. We're going to look back over at the school fence. Looks in good condition. We notice a small damage on the curbing. The left side, just in front of the uh, Opti Life sign in the curbing. Again, we're heading west. We're looking at both the north and south side of the curbing, the actual roadway. Now, to my left, we turn to the left. This is the entrance to the um, school. I guess the bus is going here. There's a sign on the gate that says that the vendors and contractors must, contractors must sign in. Uh, we've been signed in already. That gate looks to be in good condition. Looking at the, looking at the north gate and then the south gate to be in good condition. We're gonna come around. And let me just stop for a second here and um, look to my right. We're directly across from that opening and there's some slight damage to the uh, curbing there. I'm going to get wider here again and show the, the fence on the north side of the shrubbery. Again, there's a slight damage here, broken 
piece here on the um, curbing right across from the entrance. We're coming up now to the um, third speed hump. We'll note the construction entrance sign. We're now coming, active, coming to a parking area. We're going to note here that um, the only damage I see first is on the very left side, which is south. And that is here at the corner where the road widens in and makes it to the parking lot. The right side, which is north, and the left side, which is south. We're going, we've just, we're going to stop right here at the um, the second, well, let's just show where it is here. To my left, you can see where the parking area is divided. This is the first division to my left. And then to my right, which is north, same thing, where the parking lot is divided. And we're going to continue. I can't really see the curb, much curbing, but again, the trucks won't be going into the parking area. We're just showing the, the uh, condition of the roadway as we walk this way toward the west. Coming up to our next speed hump, which I believe is the fourth speed hump, I believe. Again, you'll see where the parking lot it has a division the speed hump itself and we just keep continuing we're now at the visitor parking area visitor only parking area we're coming to another division of the parking lot this is my right which is north my left which is south we're passing the reserve visitors parking area. I haven't really seen any damage to the road itself. There are some minor things like right here. There's some, um, you'll see some um, minor scrapes, but again, there's nothing to be concerned about. No real damage. Looking to my right, which is the reserve parking and visitor parking. To my left, more reserve parking, handicap parking. And now we're coming into the main entrance, where I guess is the, maybe the student parking? Yes, student parking lot. As we come here, we're going to note the uh, Creative Contractors Incorporated construction entrance sign. Clearly posted. We're going to note, first of all, that the, at the entrance, the um, right or north side gate where it connects at the bottom is damaged. I'm zooming to that so you can see it at the bottom. It's bent. We'll see that the, uh, I guess some kind of a school sign is here and it's, it's, it's coming, coming down. We're gonna notice also that same gate is damaged just above the middle. You can see the, um, the dent Right there. We're going to turn around and look at the other gate. This gate is on the uh, south side of the entrance. We'll note here again, same thing. This gate has damage uh, just as you uh, at the beginning of it, at the, uh, at the corner. I'll zoom in close so you can see the damage, the dents, the, uh, where it's bent. I'll go from bottom to top again this is the south gate south side of the gate the main entrance gate to the student parking lot we're going to go to the end of the same gate and notice that there's also some other issues right there there's a piece of the fence actually missing in the middle and that again has a gate has a uh, the pole has a dent okay we're going to continue walking down
we're going over uh, another speed hump. I'm going to stop here and go look to my left. And this is the entrance. You can look back and you can see the school. But you can also see another speed hump right here. The construction guys will not be going that way. They'll be going straight down. But I did want to show it. I'm also showing the, showing the curbing in that area. And showing there's some very minor damage there, but not much at all. Again, we're going over the speed hump. And we're continuing the route the construction uh, guys will be taking. Over that, after that last speed hump, we're going now to speed little bumps. The first speed bump I'm getting to, which is um, where the parking lot is, is the first. I'll, I'll just look back and show you where we were. This, we just came from this way. This is facing east. We just came past the, the, the first speed hump uh, after you enter the uh, student parking area. We're now facing west. And this is a speed bump. This is a yellow painted speed bump right where the um, parking lot's divided. This is the north view. This is the south view. And you'll see here that speed bump has been, there's a piece missing, it's been damaged. As we continue walking, uh, showing the roadway and the route for the uh, construction guys going. We're coming up to the next division in the parking lot. I'm gonna look to my right and show you the concrete curbing. Look to be in good condition. I'm gonna look to my left, which is south, showing a sidewalk and the curbing. There's two sidewalks actually. There's some minor damage. That damage was on the uh, west corner. We're still heading west, <clears throat> almost to the end. This is another speed bump. Looks like that speed bump, uh, and again, look to the north, showing the, um, where the parking lot division is, the speed bump. And as you see right here, it looks like that south speed bump is broken. A piece is broken off. I'll get a different view in just a second, a little closer view. We're showing, um, the next division part, and here is a closer up view of that south speed bump. You see it's broken. You see right there where the um, uh, hold down boat is only still there. Okay. We're going to take a look quick to the right again, seeing that fence is in good condition. I do notice that in the corner here, almost to the corner, the end of the property, there is um, some trees that have fallen over, may have been cut also. It looks like one of those trees is up against that fence. Just to, um, can't get in focus here. There we go. Okay. Again, looking both to the south and north, this is south. We're going around the corner. We're at the end. Again, you see the sign up ahead showing the creative contractor's construction entrance. We're going to now turn and curve around to our left. We're now heading <coughs> south, looking to my right, which is west. We're in the parking area. The condition of the roadway as we continue west down to the main entrance of the um, construction site. Again, there's no real damage here. I just want to make sure I show this in the beginning of the video to have reference. And in case something does come up, we have a record of the pre-existing conditions of the entrance, just in case. I'm gonna stop here just for a quick second and, and just pan to my right, which is west. And I look back where we came from and look around at the second major um, little dip in the parking lot here. I notice a minor damage to the uh, curbing. Not much, just minor. Again, showing another little breakaway piece here in the parking lot. We're again traveling south. And up ahead, 
We are um, <clears throat> approaching the construction entrance, the main construction entrance. To my right, there's a fence. And I'm going to back out a little bit and go here, showing at the corner of the fence. This is the north. This fence runs south right here. And we'll note at the bottom of that fence, there is some damage down there. The fence is pushed in. You'll notice also on the corner post, that corner post shows some minor damage. It's just been not much, but I want to make sure I noted it. To my right, <clears throat> you'll see the Sickles High School uh, Agricultural Department sign through the fence. And again, the fence itself is in good condition. We're going to walk just past the uh, actual entrance here. Now, let me stop here and show this entrance. <clears throat> we're now at the very back of the parking lot. We're, we're at, the, at the south side of the parking lot. We're at the ends. There's a sidewalk here. There's curbing here, and you'll note that there are boards, two by fours and plywood put down here as a semi ramp to go into the construction site itself. We'll note that the curbing has been damaged. It looks to be, and I could be wrong, look to be recent damage. I'm gonna go across this entire area and show the damage to that area. And uh, I'm going to widen back out, look to my right, which is west. So the entrance into the agricultural area from the fence and some very minor damage up top. We'll show that. We're going to note that the, uh, the gate's a little bit worn and bent a little bit. Some damage, some minor wear, the top hinge, looking at the south south and larger gate again you'll see it's in good condition just some wear we'll note at the bottom that the curbing has some damage we are now at the very end we're at the end of this parking area entering into the driver's ed range uh we're not going to go there at all we're going to turn around walking back toward our uh, north we're going to take a quick look inside the overall area of the construction site going into the main gate and then we're going to um, go around and do the actual school buildings around the site this is the entrance you see the gravel entrance in the distance you can see the uh office and a couple cars there we're gonna stop here now and go to the school and walk around the school. We're gonna start again now. We are, let me show you, give you some reference. To my left, which is north, a while back I showed the student, <clears throat> we came into the gate, the student parking lot gate. To my left, I showed an opening, which is into the student parking lot. We are now south of that gate. So I pan around to my right, which is toward the, uh, east there's a building over here and we're now in front of some uh handicap parking which is directly in front of a i see water chillers uh ahead of us so i'm gonna start right here this is i'm facing now i'm facing um east i'm in the parking lot the first thing i see before i make the walk around the building is the second or middle Handicap sign is leaning toward the south. The third handicap sign is leaning, leaning a lot worse to the north. And also the car stop, the car stop is uh, both turned around and damaged. It turned around toward the south. The middle one also has a piece missing in the middle. It's uh, damaged also. And we're going to walk past these now and walk to the chiller. This is a wall, I guess, here that's uh, surrounding this chiller. 
cooling towers. We're going to just stay over here to the, uh, to the north and look toward the, <clears throat> get a wide view toward the, um, the east. We're seeing right here below me, right in front of the, uh, the wall is uh, a sewer entrance, manhole, in good condition. We're seeing the, to my left, which is north, we're seeing the fencing around a, one of the school buildings. Get a little closer. That fencing seems to be in good condition. I'm panning around toward the west. It's in good condition. Come back here and showing the east view. I'm going to turn toward the south a little bit. And look at the uh, wall itself. On the corner, <clears throat> this is the northwest corner at the very bottom. We can see some damage right there. And then some bricks around that area. Probably about uh, 15, 18, 20 feet, there's some paint coming off the wall, but there's no damage. We're, we're heading toward the south, looking toward the east at the wall around the chillers. You can probably hear some fan noise in the background. That wall seems to be in good condition. I do see some paint that's buckling on the wall, that's, that's bubbling up, but uh, no damage. Showing a not sure this is the bottom here, but it's some kind of a protective plate covering. We're going to walk more toward the south, looking at the wall itself. Again, seeing some areas that have been painted, seeing some paint chip co coming off, uh, but no damage. I'm looking at the the wall, not the wall, the uh, the fence area, and noting that if there's no damage on the fence. This is probably about a four foot fence. This fence runs from the um, east to the west. As we start going around, looking more toward the west, we see a fire hydrant. We're going to walk that way. And right here, I'm already noticing that that fence at the very corner on the west corner is leaning really bad. It's uh, been pushed over. I also note that the sign is, I'll get the other side of it also, the sign is, is hanging. But again, that corner. You can also see as I look to the west, the uh, get a wider, a, a wide shot. This is the um, temporary fencing around the construction work area. I'm looking toward the west. I'm going to turn and look toward the south. We're now going to go in to this area. Again, to my left. It's a chiller area, chiller, chiller uh, cooling towers. That wall we just looked at, the fence we just looked at, and we're gonna go into this entrance and start walking toward the south. On my right again, you'll see the um, temporary fence, the sidewalk. I'm gonna turn around and look back at the uh, entrance we just came into. And you can see the chillers in the background that this corner post is damaged, bent and damaged. <clears throat> Get a very good look at that and how bad it's leaning to the, uh, to the um, north. We're going to walk back toward that chiller building wall, looking at the fence which is in good condition. There's another fence surrounding some uh, water piping seems to be in good condition. There's a slight crack at the bottom. This is the southwest corner. At the very bottom is a crack. We're now looking at, we're, we're, we're traveling toward the east, but looking toward the north at that same wall. This is the wall that's around that chiller, the uh, cooling towers. Noting no real damage to that area. 
We're coming into a generated room, room 505A. Those doors seem to be in good condition. Again, we're, we're traveling toward the east and looking at, we can look back and through that fence, we can see the, um, the cooling towers, the chillers back there through that fence. That fence looks to be in good condition. There's a drainage rating down here. I see some minor damage on the corner. This is the, uh, the same entrance, the same wall around that chiller area, and that, the uh, generated room 505A and room 505, the boiler room, there's a sign for them right there. As we continue walking toward the east, looking at the corner of that building, there's some students. I'm noticing um, there is some damage to get a better view here. Some damage to the uh, wall where the um, fence connects. You see that damage at the very bottom. As I pan up, you see more damage at the top. Get a good close view of that. And then we'll uh, look at the gate itself. This is the south gate. We noted where the gate ties into the wall on the bottom. There's some damage again at the very bottom. We're going toward, looking toward the south now, panning around to the school itself. Loading the windows. I see no apparent damage. I see the, looking at the roof area, the top of it. Panning around toward the west. And we're gonna start heading back toward the west around this next building. I understand that we're gonna be um, well, the, the crew is going to be working on the sidewalk and going under it. There may be some damage to it, so I'm just showing the existing condition of it now. There's some minor cracks. I see uh, something here that says chiller. Some blue paint here that says uh, top chiller DS. We're going to look back to our our left here and see the same building we just left. We're in the corner facing, again, that's dead east. Going around to the south, some looking at the building, noting any damage, noting that the water valve has the handle missing off of it. There's a sign here that says driver education student driver science, I guess this is the driver's ed class. We're noting here, the condition of the building. In the middle, there's a patch right in front of the door in the uh, concrete. <clears throat> there's also some damage where the uh, expansion joint is. I'm gonna go around this car Again, traveling south, looking at the building itself, the corner. We're gonna look up. I see no damage at all. I'm noting some paint. Somebody sprayed some spray paint on there and some patchwork maybe. We're gonna look up here and note that there's a bracket that is um, Rusted out, there's nothing there, there's a wire hanging. I'm gonna note also as we go toward the south, looking at this same building. Let me just stop here for a second and pan around to the west. Again, showing the temporary fence line going from north to south to the gate. 
there's some not sure this is there's some rolls of material that are on a rack that are been left here look like for some time the grass is growing through it I'm facing west now you can see the you can see the construction manager's trailer and the fence the two fences the temporary fence and the one around the basketball court we're going back around toward the south and now we're heading south again so we're, we're looking at the building again here and, and, and going around and seeing that uh, there's some, some paint on the wall some, some marking paint of some kind we're going to note there's some blue I'm not sure there's like tarp on the ground balled up we're going to note also that the water faucet does not have any handles on it. We're now <clears throat> at the, about as far as we can go, going south. You'll note there's the sidewalk here. The sidewalk is numbered. Um, I'm going back toward the, look at the north now. We're going to, I think this is the gymnasium, I believe. We're gonna take a quick walk down here toward the gymnasium, walk back out, and then um, continue. So we're now heading east in toward the gymnasium, looking at the sidewalk, the markings on the, on the floor, the minor damage on the wall, very minor chips. We're gonna, we're gonna stay looking at the um, <clears throat> north, north wall first. I'm going to turn around. We're inside the uh, basketball area here now, the entrance. Turn around facing the west and walking back out. We're going to notice a piece of uh, safety tape here on the ground came loose from somewhere, noting the condition of the uh, temporary fence. And we're going to stop and go through the school and look at the area where the actual building is going to be built. We're now again facing west and you can see the, the um, construction manager's trailer right there. Okay, we're now starting back and we are on the other side of the gymnasium um, and we're we're facing north looking into the school and we're going to turn toward the um, north noting the south side of the gymnasium building you can see the gate we can't we get we'll let through this gate we're going to uh, continue walking toward the west, looking toward the north. Turn back, turning back around toward the east. And looking to my right, there's a building over here also. Again, this area will not be uh, affected by the, by the construction crew. We're gonna just get a, a quick look at it anyway, just to make sure. Looking up and down, some chip, some paint around the window. The windows here, right across from the gymnasium, in the corner. We're going to continue walking toward the west, looking toward the north, going the gymnasium wall, the doorway, and the area. We're now coming toward the temporary fence area that's been put down here. And we're on my right, which is north. Again, we're gonna start, continue heading west. On my right, we'll see the temporary fence put up. The condition of the sidewalk, here's a wide sidewalk. To my left, I'm gonna see some 
storage containers or a storage container. I'm going to stop right here just before I get to the storage container and show that this piece of concrete here is, is severely damaged, severely damaged, I'm sorry. We'll note that, um, and again, I am now facing south. You can see that last building in the background there toward the uh, east. But down here on the sidewalk, just before you get to the storage container, is severely damaged. We're going to know another, another damaged area in the sidewalk here just next to the storage container. And um, looking both east and uh, north and south, if you walk, we've been traveling toward the west. Again, the silt fence is up. To my left or to the south is the, like a handball court. There's a chain link fence there. That fence seems to be in good condition. I see no damage on it at this time. Uh, I see a little minor damage up top here. One, two, the second, uh, <clears throat> one, two at the second um, area for play. The top of the fence, there's a minor damage right there. It's coming loose from the uh, main support. Nothing much to note, but just showing the detailed area. To my left, I'm going to stop here and look toward the left. I'm going to see the end of the uh, handball area. There's a fence there. That fence is not closed or locked, but it seems to be in good condition. It does not hit the floor, so it's rolling around. There, to my um, Right here, which is southwest, there's a uh, pumping station, a closer view. The fence looks to be in good condition, except for the bottom. We get a little closer here. We can note here that the concrete at the very bottom on the north side is damaged. Also, the gate is severely leaning. The fence and the gate is leaning toward the west. We're going to look around. In the background, you can see the baseball diamond. We're turning back around toward the west and then the north. We're coming to the end of the sidewalk, showing the silt fence in the sidewalk, showing that the sidewalk goes from flat and now there actually had to be a there's actually a curbing that kind of develops there as it slopes down. We're going to note that as the curbing gets higher, there shows some damage there toward the end of the silt fence. Last couple sections. And at the very end, you'll notice the entire section, half of it is missing. So if you walk around and kind of wrapping up the, uh, this tour, we're coming to the end of the silt fence, which is the work area. To my left is the Is the ticket area. You can probably see my reflection in there. There's no damage, apparent damage. There is some damage on the wall here on the corner. Right where this number 211 is, I do see some damage on the wall. It's been there for quite a while because it's been repainted already. Going from top to bottom. I am now at the end of the uh, silt fence, the basketball court area. We can look back toward the east and note the, um, the walkway. Also note 
where that bottom piece of concrete is completely missing. Also, as I turn the corner here, just past the silt fence, the concrete again is also damaged severely. I'm walking back toward the, um, toward the east to go back in the gate and finish the uh, recording. As I do, and I'm passing the um, handball court, panning around here back toward the east, I notice this uh, container. I do note that on the bottom of the container, this concrete is broken. I couldn't see that going the other way. As I come back, I do see that. I want to make sure I made a note of that. And this is the southwest corner of the, the bottom of the container. We're going to wrap up this uh, video here and start back at the actual construction entrance. This is the west side of the construction entrance uh, where it leaves right across from the agricultural department, horticultural teaching area turns in to the east. We're gonna just walk in here and just show you the area as we wrap this up. We're showing the uh, temporary fence that's been put up here. Looking to the south. We're going around the uh, driver's ed area. You can see the car through the, tilt, through the silt fence if you look real hard. Again, we're heading toward the east. Going through the, uh, the gate here for the basketball court. You can see the construction trailer up ahead. We're going to stop right here and look and do like a 360 around this area. Starting here at the entrance, which is facing north, going around toward the east on the trailers, coming back around on the portalettes to the entrance again. And now we're back here facing west where we first came in from the uh, student parking lot to the basketball court area. As we continue, we're going to see the dumpster, some fencing. We're going to walk through here and note the opening in the fence. This area has been cleared out. There's no need to walk around. We're going to just show an overall view of uh, where the actual building will be built. We're going to start back here at the entrance. We're facing north. This is north. I'm going to pan around toward the east. Under the opening in the fence and support that's there. Again, toward the east, panning around toward the south, showing the um, handball court, showing the temporary fence. We're at southwest corner now. And, um, we're facing west, looking at the fencing for the basketball court. That's going to be repaired, I understand. This entrance closed back up. And we're back facing north. Well, this is the actual end of the uh, pre-construction video. We're going to continue to walk back around and show the, uh, the actual construction manager, construction uh, superintendent's work area which is east. You can see the creative contractor sign up top. And uh, we're gonna call it quits. Thank you very much. This is Carrick Williams, Carrick Williams Photography LLC, here at Sickles High School, wrapping up this video.
been our pleasure.